Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello and welcome to hashtag LNT. And tonight, before we begin anything, before we're talking about anything, I would like to send my deepest condolences along with the condolences of hashtag LNT crew to everyone watching us tonight and everyone around the world. And whoever participated in the great Arba'in pilgrimage, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give everyone a safe arrival and safe departure from the holy city of Karbala back to their cities. But your favorite show, Hashtag LNT, has to go even on those nights. Welcome to episode 44 of season 2. And mashallah, season 2 is almost coming to an end. I know it's uh, it's heartbreaking, but it is. Inshallah, we'll kick off season 3 uh, right after the end of Safar. But tonight's episode, we don't have what's trending. We don't have a question specified for today. Because today we are focusing on the important points mentioned in the statement of Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Ash-Shirazi. So we'll take a quick break and come back to talk more about his statement. Once again, we do, welcome, we do welcome everyone joining us tonight. Now, before we get to talk more about Sayyid Sadiq Ash-Shirazi's statement, um, I would like to take a few moments uh, to recite the ziyarah, uh, a very quick ziyarah for Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Uh, so do please, and I do ask the producer, Salman al Husseini to give us a few inserts of the shrines uh, so we can recite the ziyarah together. A nice blessings to begin episode 44 on the night of Arba'in in the holy city of Karbala. So, Salamat al husseini please take us away. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Peace be upon you, O Aba Abdullah, and upon the souls that gathered in your graveyard. Peace of Allah be upon you from me forever, as long as I am existent, and as long as there may be day and night. May Allah not cause this visit to be the last of my visits to you, O Aba Abdullah. Peace be upon Al Hussein and Ali, son of Hussein, upon the sons of Hussein and upon the companions of Imam Al Hussein until the last breath within our chests. Respected viewers, welcome to hashtag LNT. And very beautiful lines of anyone that sees the shrine of Imam Al Hussein and wishes that he wasn't able to come. It's great to recite these lines as you're looking upon the dome or as you're looking to the shrine of Imam al-Hussein. That way, Imam al-Sadiq ensures that your ziyarah has been accepted by him. But um, let's take no further time and let's look at the statement of Sayyid Sadiq, Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq al-Shirazi. Now, Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq al-Shirazi issues statements for various and every single occasion across the year. These statements include recommendations, complete analysis, as well as general overviews of the specific occasion. Now, a few days ago, the Grand Ayatollah issued the statements for this year's Great Arba'in pilgrimage, and he addresses various points. And tonight, we'll go through the most important points from uh, Grand Ayatollah's uh, statement. And tonight, it's not a question. It's the headline under which Sayyid Sadiq al-Shirazi, Grand Allah Sayyid Sadiq al gave his statement. And it is the holy pilgrimage of Arba'in, the universal school of humanity. This is the title of Grand Ayatollah uh, statement. Now, after the introduction, of course, when he sends his salams to the Imam, his salutations upon the Imams, particularly the Imam of our time, Allah hasten his reappearance, he begins by the statement, with a very important narration mentioned in Kamil Ziyarat, page 228 by Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam, where he says, Imam al-Sadiq prays for the Zuwar of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam. If you read in Kamil Ziyarat, one of the most profound and one of the most beautiful books to read, if you're looking to look at the reward and the importance of Ziyarat al Hussein alayhi salam and Ziyarat al-Arba'in, I recommend you read Kamil Ziyarat, one of the most amazing books out there to read uh, ahadith and recommendations for the za'ar and for the zuwar in general. So he begins, Grand Allah Sayyid Sadiq Shazi begins this narration or, or this speech uh, by the narration which says that Imam al-Sadiq prays for the pilgrims of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam. Very wonderful. Then His Eminence says, I have the honor to warmly salute the pilgrims who have gained the integrity and the majesty in this life and the hereafter. Greetings 
and affectionately offered to those who serve the pilgrims with different services to provide whatever needed. Surely their rewards will be considered by the Almighty Allah as highly as the rewards of the glorious pilgrims. As for those who weren't successful enough to come and join the Zawar of Muhammad Hussain alayhi salam, this Arba'een, he says to them, you all shall ask from the Almighty Allah to reward you an opportunity to share the rewards with the pilgrims and with the servants by their good intentions, passion, and love as the Prophet of Allah, subhanahu, uh, uh, peace be upon him, and his purified progeny. Then, Grand Ayatollah moves to the importance of participating in the rituals of Arba'een and the rituals of Imam Hussein alayhi salam where he says the pilgrimage to Imam Hussein during this year represents the Husseini rituals which are important and have many rewards and are recommended but during the time of the holy Arba'een it becomes much more important with greater rewards even if there is a possibility of danger torture or even death then he relates the ziyarah of Arba'een and, and he compares this time to the time of Bani Umayyah and he says although the oppressed pilgrims had faced different types of dangers torture hazing trimming body parts blinding and killing during the time of Bani Umayyah and Bani Abbas the holy infallible Imams used to encourage motivating command people to continue marching towards Imam Hussain alayhi salam daily weekly monthly and yearly as stated in the narrations his eminence also assures that the pilgrims still committed to participate in the pilgrimage despite the dangers and despite everything that happens and he says to them whenever there is an opportunity throughout history for repressive governments to engage in their eternal and external affairs and ignore the holy city of Karbala and the oppressed pilgrims this holy land returns to be unovercrowded, to be overcrowded by thousands and thousands of pilgrims from inside and outside of Iraq. For example, during the Abbasid dynasty, Al Mutawakkil al Abbasi has sent the great Bugha to kill the pilgrims of Imam Hussein alayhi islam. He killed 30,000 and destroyed the houses around the grave of Imam Hussein alayhi islam. This is mentioned in Sayyid al Ilm al. Nubala edition 12 page 35 he continues to say up until the end of the last century pilgrims were targeted and many enemies used military vehicles and helicopters to kill tens of thousands of pilgrims of Imam Hussein alayhi salam who were walking towards the holy city of Karbala referring of course to the time of Saddam Hussein where he used to target the pilgrims of Imam Hussein anyone wishing to come and visit Imam Hussein alayhi salam. However, he encouraged the faithful pilgrim, uh, pilgrims to bravely continue the walk towards Arba'in and never stop it, where he says, tens of millions of people, women and men, young and old, the scholars, the academics, the employees, the merchants, the workers, all of them walk towards Karbala every year, inspired by the righteousness, the courage, and the integrity of the master of martyrs, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, peace and blessings be upon him, chanting in one voice, Labbayka ya Hussein, Labbayka ya Hussein, all united under the global banner of Imam Hussein, peace and blessings be upon him. Hussein unites us, yet although it's not up behind me as usual, but the slogan as Hussein unites us as a symbol for all humanity. Ayatollah Shirazi then mentions the story of the great Iraqi revolution in 1920 saying a century ago in the midst of the great Iraqi revolution of 1920 the despicable uh, British colonization and its deadly weapons came to Iraq from behind the seas and brutally attacked the oppressed civilians the oppressed Iraqi people did not hesitate and the, and the oppressed Iraqi people did not hesitate to or surrender but leaped in all of their classes and sects led by the wise scholars and the tribes of integrity that were still that were and still represent the indestructible wall of Islam following the commands of the late uh, Sheikh Muhammad Taqi al Shirazi the commander uh, the commander the holy defending revolution 
they marched walking towards Karbala during that time to honorably perform the pilgrimage of Imam Hussein alayhi salam while thousands and thousands of them embraced martyrdom during the unjust war. Then Grand Ayatollah Shirazi moves on to thank everyone who has supported Imam al Hussein in any way, who has supported the cause, who has supported the mawakib and the processions of Imam al Hussein, saying, It is by the standpoint of the legitimate responsibility I hereby thank everyone and all those who have been supportive for Imam Hussein in any way possible. Number one, he said, starting with the kind pilgrims that have been through the traveling exhaustion and tiredness of the way with different obstacles and problems the reward is much the reward is as much as the difficulty you are all in the prayer of the greatest prophet muhammad وسلم, the great lady of all worlds lady fatima zara and the infallible imams peace and blessings be upon them all of them shall be you shall be included in all of them inshallah number two particularly the marching pilgrims that had that have a precious reward as much as the tiredness and tribulations that they have been through i offer them my congratulations to reach this high position number three says those that have left the precious and valuable accommodations cars and stores to serve the pilgrims and their needs in order to be able to perform the pilgrimage to the best and most perfect perfect way number four Number four, uh, grant Allah says, those responsible for the international media that have stood working hard day and night to reflect the greatness of the events to the whole world so they could be inspired by the extraordinary atmosphere. Number five, he says, gratitude to the clerics and scholars that have used their religious scholarship to provide support for the pilgrims to reach them to teach them the Islamic laws, the morals of the Holy Household of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa alayhi wa sallam, as well as answer the jurisprudence matters to be more educate, to, to more educate and to better perform this holy ritual. And number six, it says, all the others, anyone who served or supported the cause of Imam Hussein, I appreciate him or her. Then Grand Ayatollah Shirazi shifts to those in power or have influence in the government and says to them he says i urge the courage of those who have influence in islamic governments as well as others not to limit themselves to only what they can do for the pilgrims of mount Islam, so they are not considered from those who have left imam hussein alone because those people are commended by prophet by the prophet himself concluding grand ayatollah shirazi says the supreme goal of the prosperous revival of Mahsin alayhi salam, peace and blessings be upon him, and his unparalleled sacrifice in the history of all mankind is what he, peace be upon him, stated. I, I want to walk in the pathway of my grandfather and my father, Imam Ayn Talib, and my grandfather. This is mentioned in Bihar and Anwar, edition 44, volume 44, page 3. 29 then he continues to say it is well known and clear to everyone looking at the history of the government of the Messenger of Allah within 10 years and the history of the government of the commander of the faithful on half of the globe at that time during five years the two great biographies were unique in history of all humankind from the dawn of history until today if it was not for their governments then even one poor person would remain poor. There was neither a single political execution. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Muhammad was love. There was neither a single political execution nor a single political prisoner. There was not a prisoner or death at that time. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. There was no sale of land by the government. The land is for God and for those who reconstruct it. Al-Kafi edition 5, volume 5, page 279. And there was neither that or that and etc. 
So as for the government of our Savior, the remaining Imam of Allah on earth, of Allah on earth, the awaited Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance, shall correspondingly follow the, the government of the Messenger of Allah and the commander of the faithful, peace and blessings be upon them. Honorable narration stated by Grand Ayatollah, he says, he shall, he shall follow the pathway of his grandfather, the Messenger of Allah, and the commander of the faithful, peace and blessings be upon them all. This is mentioned in Al Kafi, volume 1, page 411, and other narrations as well. Then he continues to conclude with, he says, governments of the world, and specifically the Islamic states, should learn from the Messenger of from the message from the messenger of Allah and the commander of the faithful as well as the awaited Mahdi may Allah hastens be appearance and peace be upon them all the true and glorious pathway of humanity in order to have peace among all governments and peoples in all major fields to create the best life the most generous living and the best warfare that human beings witness our final prayer shall be praise to be praise be to Allah, the cherisher, the sustainer of the world. Peace and salutations of Allah be upon Muhammad and the household of Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon them all. In conclusion of tonight's episode, on behalf of hashtag LNT and on behalf of Imam Hussein 3TV, I would like to thank everyone that had participated in the pilgrimage of Imam Hussain alayhi salam during Arba'in. I would like to, I'm, I'm actually envious of those who have joined in walking towards Karbala. This year, I wasn't fortunate enough to actually walk towards Imam Hussain alayhi salam. But inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us and grant everyone that has not been able to come to Karbala, to come to Karbala and perform the ziyarah of Imam Hussain. Thank you very much for joining us today. Do stay tuned for the upcoming episodes of Hashtag LNT. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.